The first thing you'll need to do is connect your USB device to your computer using the, the USB download station that looks like this. Next, you'll open up the assistant program and you'll go to events and add start and click OK. This will set up an event and you can manage the time of that event by going right clicking on the event, clicking manage time, and you can set your start date to whatever date you want in the past. So we'll just do the past two days. And um, it's easier to just be general here. So if we uh, enter zero into the rest of the fields here, it will get all of the 16th. So click OK, and now you have a start time. Uh, you can, if you just have a start time, then uh, the the ASI file will tell um, the USB stick to download all the data from the start time until the present time. Um, but you can add a uh, add an end time as well, which we'll do now. Um, go to events, add end, click OK. Uh, right click on that um, event, that end event, go to manage time, and for this we'll just, uh, whatever it comes up with here is the, is the present time, so we'll just click OK. So now we'll get all of the data from um, two days ago up until just now when we clicked on that. Um, and now if you, we want to save the file. So we'll go to save, uh, find your USB device here, um, and we want to save it in the root directory of your USB device, and we want to name the file sigma.asi. Click save, yes, and now when you disconnect your USB device from your computer and plug it into your Sigma unit, you will get uh, all of the data that that Sigma unit has recorded um, that's within the confines of your um, start event and your end event.